All right, hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to quickly do drop caps. In easing, we do drop caps to indicate the beginning of a story. Drop caps are a super simple way in order to tell your readers this is where we start. And then things like end signs, little graphics that showcase, you know, usually the theme of the magazine, uh, indicate to the reader the end of the story. So let's show you how to easily make a drop in InDesign. So in InDesign, when we have our spread pulled up, we're going to begin with the first um, paragraph of our you know, story or ASF or whatever it might be. So go ahead and just kind of select the first, you know, 10 or so lines of your text. And we're going to go over to the side here and click on paragraph. Now, if you don't have paragraph over into your right hand toolbar, go ahead and click on a window. And then under type and tables, you should be able to access paragraph right here. Now make sure we are not working with paragraph styles. We are working with paragraph only. In paragraph, you can actually do a couple of different things. You could indent text in some different ways. You can indent the first line. Um, you can do that with other sides as well. You can actually justify, you can make things um, you know, aligned in the center, aligned to the right, justified, justified altogether. We try to not use justify, it doesn't look fantastic. Aligning to the left is what typically people do. Now, under here, right here, you're gonna see this little A that it has, and this is a drop cap. So we're gonna select the number of lines that we want our drop cap to go over. So what you're gonna to start to see is that V is the beginning of this, um, of this paragraph, and I'm gonna go ahead and just make it capital, actually. That way you can get a better understanding of what it will look like. So if I make this V go over two lines, then three, then four, then five, first of all, it's shifting all my text, but also you can see the V is going over one, two, three, four, five lines right here. So this is a pretty big drop cap. Now, if you also want to, let me select all of this. If you also want more letters to go um, into the drop cap area, you know, you could do something like that. Now that's really gonna mess up your text. So probably just one letter is gonna be best for a drop cap. And that is how you can easily make a drop cap in InDesign.